Hey guys, I've got a torrent client for your Android device that I wanted to show you today. So let's go ahead and get started in on that. This is called the Flood. Now the reason why I chose Flood is because of its extremely simplistic and just really well laid out design. Um, it's really not difficult to use. There aren't a ton of really complicated settings or options and things like that that might confuse the average torrent user. Um, so really briefly, you can see that we've got all these different sort of sliding options here. You've got all queued and finished. Bunch of other options up there at the top there, but we'll get into those in just a moment. But first I wanted to kind of demonstrate how easy it is to actually use this app. So for instance, as an example, I actually have um, the Pirate Bay all queued up, ready to go, but at the same time, please excuse the extremely um, inappropriate advertisements, shall we say. So anyway, scrolling down here at the bottom, I've actually got Flappy Bird all queued up, ready to go. Um, by the way, just a little side note, is it just me or are the people who are willing to pay $90,000 on eBay for an iPhone with Flappy Bird preloaded complete and utter morons? Anyways, so um, anyways, as you can see here, so we have get this torrent here. That's actually the magnet link. So generally speaking, you always have kind of two different types of links. Generally speaking, the regular download link for torrents and of course the uh, magnet link. So here's the magnet link. All you got to do is just simply click on it. And as you can see right away, the application loads the torrent. Uh, there's the name the hash, uh, the storage uh, directory, and so on. And of course, we can either cancel or add magnet uh, links. So we're just gonna go ahead and do that. And you'll notice right away that it will start downloading eventually. And there it is. So as you can see, the peer count is starting to go up. It's downloading and poof, ready to go. And it's all downloaded and finished. Now, there's a little trick to this though. Um, even though that the default download directory is the downloads directory, the downloads folder, if we go out to home and I actually jump into my app tray and jump into downloads, you'll notice that we can't actually find it in the downloads folder. So what I actually have to do is use ES File Explorer, which is my preferred file explorer of choice in case you guys are wondering. And I can just go ahead and open that on up and I click on my downloads folder there and there's the APK uh, as you would expect. So from that point on, you can go ahead and uh, install it as you need to. Um, now jumping back into the actual uh, application itself, so we've got all queued and of course finished which Flappy Bird's installed there. Uh, we have that little plus button so you can go ahead and add torrent file. Uh, there's your magnet link. If you wanted to copy and paste it, you can go ahead and paste it in there. Uh, we've got a little search box here, but um, to be honest with you guys, it's just Google search so I don't really know how useful that is for an application like this. Um, and then we have a little play button there, which obviously if you had all the different uh, torrents in your list, paused, you can go ahead and click play and that should all resume the downloads. Uh, and then last but not least, we do have this sort of important little function here, which is the action overflow or settings overflow. So we go ahead and click on settings there. Here's your storage settings again, even though it says downloaded uh, or it's in download, um, it's not actually in download. Well, it is, it's just not seeing it. Um, anyway, so you've got all these other options in here. Uh, and in addition to that, we've got global bandwidth. So you can set the upload and download speed maximums. You can change the uh, interface. We do actually have a couple of different themes. You've got light with dark action bar, light and dark, which is what I'm currently using. Uh, we've got some different network settings in here. So this is where you can start changing things around like all the ports and all this other fun stuff in here um, and then we've got power management settings which is actually kind of an interesting section here so you've got the option to either download via only Wi-Fi or Wi-Fi and data you have the option to have it shut down um, once you're downloading completes which is kind of a cool thing um, and that's actually great because if you start downloading a file and you walk away and then it finishes downloading and you maybe don't want to continue chewing up if you happen to be using your data it will automatically shut down the client for you so that you're not continuously uploading unnecessarily and chewing up all your data uh, and then we have this last one, which I thought was pretty cool, which is enable battery limit. So as you can see here, all torrents will be paused if the battery level goes below the specified limit. When charging, torrents are distributed regardless of the limit. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, anyways, really, really simplistic to use. As you can see, really, really easy to use and a very simplified um, UI and that's pretty much why I like it. Anyways, this app is actually free with no advertisements, believe it or not. So I'll be posting a link in the description below so you can go and download it right away and check her on out. Anyways, that is it for this one though, guys. If you like the video, click that likes button down below and if you're new to the channel, subscribe for more videos. Um, but thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers, guys.